Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edicts 32 and 33 for the year 2017. Edict 32 restructures the National Committee for Standardization and Metrology with the chairmanship of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and the membership of the following. 1. Executive Vice President for Production and Petroleum Industries at the National Oil and Gas Authority. 2. Standardization and Metrology Director. 3. Director of Customs Clearance and Follow-up of Customs Affairs at the Ministry of Interior. 4. Director of Electricity and Water Conservation at the Electricity and Water Authority. 5. Director of Materials Engineering at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning. 6. Director of Public Health at the Ministry of Health. 7. Expert Engineer Lama Abbas Al Mahrous. 8. Expert Advisor Mohammed Ahmed Mejbel. 9. Second Deputy Chairman of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Abul Hamid Abul Jabbar Al Kohiji. 10. Member of the Board of Directors of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Ali Hassan Mahmoud. And 11. Member of Board of the Directors of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Ahmed Suba Al Saloum. The term of membership shall be for four years, renewable for two similar terms. The committee is to elect a vice president at its first meeting and the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism is to implement the edict which will be effective on the day of its issuance. The edict is to be issued in the official gazette. The first at article of Edict 33 for 2017 restructures the Board of Directors of Bahrain Internet Exchange with the chairmanship of Sheikh Bada bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and the membership of the following. One, Musab Ahmed Abdullah as Vice President. Two, Colonel Mohammed Abu Latif Al Mahmoud as Member. Three, Taha Mahmoud Fahi as a Member. And four, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa as a Member. The term of membership will be one renewable year. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, received the President of the International Association of Athletics Federations, that's the IAEF today, Lord Sebastian Coe. This was in the presence of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of West Asian Athletics Federation and President of Bahrain Athletics Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jauda. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the efforts of the IAAF in strengthening bilateral relations with its members, which contribute to the development of sport. His Highness thanked them for allowing Bahrain to host the Women's Sports Development Committee's meetings in Bahrain, which falls in line with the steps taken by the Bahraini Athletics Association to support female sports locally, regionally and internationally. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that, with the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Kingdom has taken steps to support athletics and women's sports, resulting in great achievements that have raised the status of Bahrain in various international sporting events. Lord Coe admired the development of Bahraini athletics by winning the gold medal in the women's 3,000-meter race, the silver medal in the women's marathon, the gold medal in the women's marathon, and the silver medal in the women's 400 meters hurdles race in the 2016 Rio Olympics. The meeting was also attended by Secretary General of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdul Rahman Sadek Aska, and a number of Bahrain Athletics Association members. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, President of West Asian Athletics Association and President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa inaugurated the new headquarters for the Bahrain Athletics Association at the Isa Sports City in the presence of the President of the British International Athletics Association, Lord Sebastian Coe, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jauda, the Assistant Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, 
sport. And the Assistant Secretary of Bahrain Olympics Committee, Abdul Rahman Sadiq Asker, member of the Asian Association and Deputy President of the United Arab Emirates Athletics Association, Nasser Al Mamari, and the Assistant Secretary of Sports Facilities Affairs in the Ministry of Youth and Sports, Engineer Khalid Salim Al Hajj, as well as a number of officials from Bahrain Athletics Association. His Highness Sheikh Khalid unveiled the memorial plaque of the project to inaugurate the new headquarters. He then toured the facilities with the President of the International Association, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs and senior guests. His Highness affirmed that the new headquarters reflects the leadership's vision of supporting the youth and sports sector. He added that the headquarters will leave a positive impact on Bahrain athletics for the facilities it includes that will facilitate all technical and administrative work. Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks and appreciation to the personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of Bahrain Athle Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, for supporting Bahrain Athletics Association to the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Endowment for implementing the project. For his part, the President of the International Athletics Association expressed admiration at the new building and the modern facilities and services it provides, asserting that the headquarters reflects the endeavours of Bahrain Association to support the athletic sport, wishing the association success. The Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs congratulated His Highness Sheikh Khalid and all the association members on the inauguration, stressing that it completes Asa Sports City project, whose foundation stone was laid by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. First Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of West Asia Federation for Athletics and President of Bahrain's Federation for Athletics, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa visited Isa Town Sports City Youth Hostel. His Highness was accompanied by the President of the International Association of Athletics Federations, that's the IAAF, Lord Sebastian Coe, the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs, Hisham Mohammed Al Jowda, Assistant Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Secretary General of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdul Rahman Sadiq Asker, and a number of officials from the Youth and Sports Affairs Ministry, Bahrain Olympic Committee and the Bahraini and International Athletic Federations. His Highness toured the building where he was briefed by Al Jowda on the facilities that were built in line with the highest international standards and in accordance with the regulations of Hosteling International as well as the services it provides in hosting youth and sports delegations. His Highness expressed admiration for the establishment which was inaugurated by the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. The hostel was built by the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning in cooperation with the Youth and Sports Affairs Ministry. Sheikh Khalid stated that the Kingdom has taken big steps to support the infrastructure of development projects in the youth and sports sector upon the leadership's directives, making Bahrain a youth destination. Under the patronage of Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Urbanisation and Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, Bahrain International Property Exhibition, BIPEX 2017, will open on Thursday morning. Organised by Bahrain Society of Engineers, the three-day exhibition will take place in Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Centre. This year's 10th edition of the exhibition coincides with favourable conditions for the real estate sector at the top of which is His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's approval and issuance of a law to regulate the real estate sector late July, as well as the Cabinet's approval of a draft decree to inaugurate a real estate regulation establishment and another draft decree to delegate a CEO for the establishment to develop the real estate sector in the Kingdom and enhance the investment environment according to the provisions of the real estate regulatory law.
The exhibition reaffirms the pivotal role of economic diversification through shedding light on the achievements made in the infrastructure and real estate sectors. There will also be a number of high-value competitive offers. The exhibition aims to highlight the importance of economic development and increasing investment opportunities in the Kingdom. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, attended yesterday a ceremony marking the 72nd anniversary of the ratification of the United Nations Charter upon the invitation of the resident coordinator of the United Nations in the Kingdom of Bahrain, Amin Al Sharkawi. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed the continuation of the historic cooperation between Bahrain and the United Nations in all fields. He added that the Kingdom has cooperated with the United Nations team in Bahrain supporting the Economic Vision 2030, the Government Action Plan and the Government Priorities Framework in order to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals 2030. He went on to note the accomplishments of the Kingdom, most notable of which are launching the King Hamid Youth Empowerment Award to achieve sustainable development goals, as a global award that honours businesses and social enterprises with a youth focus, and the launching of the Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa Global Award for Women's Empowerment. This award promotes the objectives of the United Nations in enhancing the role of women in development. He also noted the holding of the International Youth Conference to achieve sustainable development under the patronage of the representatives of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. This was in collaboration with the UNDP office with a focus on raising awareness of the SDGs amongst youth and enhancing their role in achieving them. The Minister expressed gratitude for all the efforts that contributed to making these achievements and hoped to further continue cooperation with the United Nations in order to enhance the development process in the Kingdom. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the United Nations Resident Coordinator to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Amin Al Shahawi, also with representatives of 16 United Nations resident and regional agencies yesterday, signed the Strategic Partnership Framework Agreement between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Nations 2018 2022 at the General Court of the Ministry. The Minister affirmed that the Strategic Partnership Framework is a new important step in the framework of the cooperation between Bahrain and the United Nations in all fields and at all levels. He said that it also reflects common desire to turn this cooperation into programs and initiatives that increase ongoing and future collaboration opportunities between the Government of Bahrain and UN agencies, adding that it will aid in the implementation of the Government Action Plan 2015 to 2018 and the Bahraini Economic Vision 2030 in line with UN Sustainable Development Goals 2030. Sheikh Khalid expressed thanks to El Shakawi for the continued efforts he had exerted to plan the strategic partnership framework in cooperation with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. He also appreciated the role played by the representatives of 16 United Nations resident and regional agencies, voicing optimism that the agreement would pave the way for permanent, constructive cooperation between the two sides. The United Nations Resident Coordinator thanked the Kingdom of Bahrain and UN agencies for their efforts that yielded the Strategic Partnership Framework as an unprecedented step in the region, paying tribute to the constant follow-up of the Minister of Foreign Affairs. He also affirmed that the Strategic Partnership Framework in total harmony with Bahrain's development strategies and policies and constitutes a broader coordination platform for United Nations agencies to assist with support projects. Upon the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to provide housing units to citizens and to follow up on the government's implementation of its work program under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, as well as the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince which he delivered during the government forum. The Minister of Housing, Bassem bin Yaqub al Hamma, announced that the Ministry will commence distribution of 4,800 housing units next week. 
The minister noted that the forum reaffirmed the government's alignment with the Economic Vision 2030 and the steps taken to restructure the role of the government from being a provider of services to a regulator. He added that the ministry had employed its energy and all the available resources to enhance its performance to achieve the aspirations of citizens. Alhama noted that the ministry has become a regulator of the housing sector through enhancing cooperation with the private sector. He went on to affirm that the ministry will continue to meet the needs of citizens through new policies and national economic strategies. Upon the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa in the 2017 Government Forum, which was held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Minister of Health Faika bin Saeed Al Salah announced the commencement of the implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness to activate the self-management system for hospitals. The Minister affirmed that the self-management project will improve the quality of health services for citizens and will enable the Ministry to focus its efforts in organising the health sector. She added that the self-management system for hospitals and health centres means that all administrative and support services will be directly supervised by the individual hospitals and health centres. She stated that each service will have a specific budget which will enhance self-monitoring and the optimal use of human and financial resources, noting that it will be in line with the Ministry's commitment to the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to implement the National Business Project Engineering. The Minister asserted that work on the project had commenced through forming two teams to study primary and secondary health care. She noted that working on the project includes transference of all services to self-management, taking into consideration the legal and logistical aspects. The Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for the Cabinet's approval of transferring the subordination of the Assistant Undersecretary for Primary Care and the Assistant Undersecretary of Hospitals directly to her, affirming that the decision is considered an important step to implement the self-management project. She hailed the success of the 2017 Government Forum, commending its results and effect on improving the quality of the government services provided to citizens. The state of Qatar has allegedly committed itself to fighting all forms of terrorism, while its media gave voice to terrorists from all over the region. More now in this report. Over the years, the Qatari-owned and controlled Al Jazeera has provided a platform to internationally recognized terrorists, such as Osama bin Laden of Al-Qaeda, Abu Muhammad al-Jolani of Al-Nusra Front, Anwar al-Awlaqi of Al-Qaeda in Yemen, Hassan Nasrallah of Hezbollah, and Abdul Hakim bin Hajj of the Libyan Islamic Fighting Group, among others. Recently, the mother and sister of one of the perpetrators of the London Bridge attack, Yusuf Zaghba, told the British Times that her son was radicalized by watching Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera's reporting has repeatedly crossed the threshold of incitement to hostility, violence and discrimination, a violation of UN Security Council Resolution 1624 of 2005, which recognizes that states may restrict reporting that is intended to incite imminent violence, and when there is a direct and immediate connection between the reporting and the likelihood or occurrence of such violence. And while the protection of the right of freedom of expression is of fundamental importance, this protection is not absolute and restrictions on the right are permitted under the international law to protect national security and public order.
If this proves anything, it only affirms Qatar hypocritical stances that serve its regional malicious objectives. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdul Ghafoor. Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,278.46 points, marking an increase of 1.96 points above the previous closing. The increase was in the commercial bank sector, and investors mainly traded in the industrial sector, representing 78.5% of the total value of traded shares. 66 equity transactions took place, including 1,637,493 shares worth 552,381 Bahraini dinars. The Central Bank of Bahrain announces that this month's 100 million Bahraini dinar issue of government treasury bills has been oversubscribed by 118%. The bills carrying a maturity of 12 months held, held, holds a 3.41% weighted average rate of interest compared to 3.29% for the previous issue. The approximate average price for the issue was 96.665%, with the lowest accepted price being 96.487%. This is issue number 38. With this, the total outstanding value of government treasury bills is 2.085 billion Bahraini dinars. <laughs> 